Now let's get started setting up a website. The first thing that we need is a new repository that will be the repository for our GitHub Pages site. In this case, I'm going to call it test website and I'm going to skip the description. It wouldn't make sense to make it anything other than public. I will go ahead and add a readme file, but this isn't really that important because nobody is going to see it that much. Now what we need to do is go up to the settings, click on the pages link. There are several options for what we can use as the source. I recommend that you use the main branch. There are other alternatives that people use, but this will work out the best generally. And within the main branch, you should operate your website out of a folder called Docs. So let's go ahead and save that. The other options here we will talk about later. One of the important things to know from this is what is the URL going to look like on the rendered website? And here we can see what it is. Right now, if I go to this URL, nothing will happen because there isn't any content there. But after we add some content, we'll be able to click on this link and go and see what it looks like. It's not the same link as the repository, which we can see up here. Now that I've set up the repository on GitHub that I'm going to be using for the website, I need to clone it locally so that I can create some content. If you already had GitHub Desktop open, you probably need to restart it to force it to discover that the new repository exists. I'll drop this down and select clone and then start typing the name. Here it is. I will go ahead and clone that. And now I'm ready to use it.